So it's um, November 2015 and we're on the Croft and one of the longest survivors of this area. Paul November is, the 6th. Paul is with us. So oh, yeah. Paul, Hello. how's it going? Brilliant. And where are you living? Um, in, in, in a place where they've got eight prostitutes living in the house. The other morning one of them's come in at four o'clock because they can't lock my doors because I've lost my keys. So all the girls know my room's open. Yeah. All the girls know. So yeah. oh, one of them's woke me up at four o'clock in the morning with a bottle of vodka. Right, well you to keep, wake you, me up. you keeping in I your room. I was asleep in bed, yeah. I was yeah, asleep yeah. on my bed, passed out. Yeah, yeah. Alcohol yeah. injured. Right. Where is this? Somewhere local? Somewhere near yes, here? Yes, Bishopston. Bishopston? Yes. Oh quite posh then. Yes, yes, absolutely. Hilary. Hilary, yeah, yeah. Hilary. Yeah, yeah, well, definitely. Apart from Apart from so, so what went on? She she she's woke us up at four in the morning, or something like that, four or five in the morning, yeah. and said to me, "Here you go." She passed me a full bottle of vodka yeah. to wake me up with. So I've, I've had a bit because I'm alcoholic, so yeah, I went like that. And um, truthfully, then she's taken me to her room. Yeah. And guess what? There's a magistrate having his cock sucked by a prostitute and he wanted to see a man in the background while they were having his cock sucked by a prostitute. Yeah, straight up. So you got a bit of a shocking free show, did you? I didn't look, man. I don't I blame you, man. That sounds much. terrible. I just drank more of the vodka. The magistrate put his underpants on when he finished and left in his big fat car with his big fat life and his big fat self. He left. Did he? He was, he was just... How did, how did he know he was a magistrate? He told them. He told the working girls that's what he did, is it? What, do you think he's a Bristol magistrate or from I'm, some out of town? I'm not sure. I didn't I, I, I didn't hear him speak. I didn't hear him speak, so I wouldn't, I wouldn't ascertain as to what. So what's this place? How come you keep in there? And are you, is it a spot or what? Places for people. Right. It's called Places for People. It's kind of an housing association around here that looks after us, Chris. All right. And um, from the Salvation Army Hostel, moving into places for people. Yeah, yeah. We had the management come round the other day, right? And he said to me, anything you need doing? I said, yeah, I need a new mattress. I said, my oven door's fallen off. I said, the fridge freezer's got frogs underneath it. I said, the shower basin's broken. He said, we'll sort it out for you six weeks ago. I still haven't got a fresh mattress. I still haven't got a shower basin. My oven door's still falling off. It's held on by one inch. <laughs> And um, yeah, the frogs are still under the fridge freezer. I, I, I didn't clean it. So quite often you you just uh, you know, I've known you for a while and you kip out a lot. Yeah. Are you still kipping out? I have to. I don't like going back there, Chris. What? Because wets, of what's going on? It wakes me up in the morning. No, no, no. I can go in, pass out drunk, and then three, four o'clock in the morning, the fridge freezer goes. So, all night's one of them white noises that fucks your head up. So you know, this it's one of them white noises you can't sleep with. Yeah. You know, once you're working and then you hear the noise and that's sick. No sleep. I've been up since three o'clock every morning, Chris. That's why I pad about right and like that. So are you keeping out a lot now? Yeah, back on the streets again, yeah. I've been on the streets for about four months again with some chocolate. So where do you keep? Standard, you know what I'm like. What, just anywhere? Right there. This right. is my church and this is my steep and that's where I rest my head. Right. Does it not get fucking cold in the middle of the night? Yeah, uh, worse, uh, when the daylight comes in it gets worse then. When the, when the daylight comes in. It's alright through the night, but when dawn comes in that's when it gets really cold. Yeah, yeah. From the hours like, you know, five till seven now. It gets really cold. So you kind of... Get up. Did, did you just sleep wherever you are? Yeah. And sometimes sleep during the day because you can't sleep at night? Yeah. Alright oh, man, look after yourself, eh? You too, Chris. Alright. Oh. All right, all right. I'll see you later. Thanks for thanks for sharing all that stuff with us. All right. I didn't even share that. No, we'll do it again.